Здрасте, мое имя Лаиса. I speak three fluent languages. I speak Portuguese, that's my mother language, Spanish and English. And right now I'm learning French also. And a little bit of Bulgarian. I, I don't, I can buy food, that's all I can say. I come from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'm studying HRC Culinary Academy. And uh, right now, I'm in my third semester, I'm working in Talent's restaurant. Usually, I eat a lot of uh, more of the f more fresh foods because uh, I don't really buy meat or anything. I was actually vegan for three years. So when I'm outside of the restaurant, I like to keep that path. I like to buy more vegetables and uh, vegetarian and vegan foods. I really like that. Uh, my day usually starts very early. Either I come to Talents to work or I come to my, or I go to my job, which is uh, in Aora with Chef Sevda Dimitrova. So it starts really early and I usually wake up and just go to work because I like to sleep in late. So <laughs> I just wake up in the time that I have to. <laughs> sometimes, yes, I will not lie. Sometimes I do, <laughs> but I, I, I'm, not, I'm not proud of it. <laughs> Well, I usually I like to take everything as light as possible, you know, I, I know about my work and my responsibilities, but I like to take it in the most fun way I can. Uh, I love my job and I love working here in Talents because I'm always with the people that I like and I know it's not good, always going to be like that, but I always try to be the person that they will like also, you know, be the kind of person that uh, is enjoyable to work with so everything can go smoothly and the pressure is always there but uh, if we if we treat it like it's uh, like it's just like any job it's uh, it's better actually I take everything as my education in Aora I'm also I try to be everywhere, I try to ask everything and learn everything because uh, it's my paying job, let's say, yes, but uh, also it's a place that I learn a lot from. So either here in Talent or in Aora, I try to take it everything as my education. And it's, it's sometimes when I think, oh, I'm so tired, oh, this is a job that I'm so tired of, I remember why I chose this and I just love doing it. So it, I don't get so tired. <laughs> yes, a lot. <laughs> Brazilian cuisine, just like our people, it's a mixture. We have all kinds of different influences. Uh, French, uh, Portuguese, uh, Dutch. So we made it all our way. And I have to say it's better <laughs> than the original. Uh, we have a lot of food dating from the colonizing period. And I will, all I can say is that it, there's a lot of flavor, there's a lot of uh, beans, <laughs> and there's a lot of roots. That's the base of our culinary. Uh, I chose HRC Culinary Academy because of the program, because I really, while I was doing my research, I really enjoyed that we did uh, one period of theory and then practice and then theory and practice with talents and then practice again. I loved the opportunities of internship and uh, as I've been away from home since, since I was 18, I wanted to continue traveling. So Bulgaria was an opportunity to come to a place that I've never never imagined in my life that I would come and also to go to other places while I was here. Uh, last year I was in Norway with the with the school I was in internship in under 
Uh, then after that, I went to Romania because my best friend that I made here in Bulgaria, she's Romanian. So I went with her to her uh, hometown. It was incredible. And then I went back to Brazil and then I came back here. And to come to Bulgaria, usually you have to do a layover somewhere because there's no direct flights from Sao Paulo. So I usually take advantage of these layovers and always I stop in a different uh, country and I, I get out. So it's really good for me. I, I was in under and then I was in Aora. I finished in Aora and then I continued there because we just, we, we clicked me and the restaurant and me and the chef. And so it was under and Aora. And the next one is Alinea, yes. Under has one and Alinea has three, yes. Yes, for sure. If, uh, if there was a Michelin star in Bulgaria, for sure I would, uh, would uh, compete to it. What I, what I love the most about here is the different uh, cultures that we have and how they can accommodate all of them. Uh, of course, the Bulgarian language is it's a big thing because it's the language of the country, but uh, they always remind everybody to speak English and we always communicate with each other. Uh, I really like the separation that they do for this chef is for first semester and this chef instructor for another semester. So that way we can enjoy the most of the chef instructors that they are also from different places and uh, we can learn a lot and it's very handy. I have very good friendships here that I'm going to take for the rest of my life and from different places, you know, so that's amazing. Uh, working in the kitchen, it's not the <laughs> it's not the most uh, it's not the best place to make friends, you know, because everybody is so competitive and everybody is so strict. But if you can find a way in between, for sure, you find amazing people like I did here in HRC. Uh, my favorite meal, it's a Brazilian uh, version of uh, the Russian stroganoff. Uh, we make it very different. We don't make with the with the grain that they make. We make with our Brazilian rice and uh, chicken and champignon mushroom. And uh, it's basically a chicken with the sauce and the rice and our uh, special, special potatoes, as <laughs> you can say. It's just uh, fried potatoes, but they're really small. They look like uh, hay. Last week we had uh, our midterm exam. It was a dinner. It was a team dinner about Paulo Picasso. Uh, uh, me and my friends came up with it. My colleagues, my friends. <laughs> we came up with it. Uh, it was a four course menu with a uh, muse bouche. And we try to put in some Spanish, uh, Spanish ingredients and Spanish techniques. Uh, we use the jamón, we use licor 43, uh, melon, we use the ajo blanco, which is the Spanish sauce, churros, so leche frita. So it was a very, we could include loads of uh, techniques that with the ingredients that we could get here. So it was very good. I eat uh, very little. <laughs> I usually eat in my job, but what I could say for people who don't work in the kitchen is enjoy <laughs> what you can eat, when you can eat, when you have time to eat. Uh, in Brazil, we say that the, the most important meal is the lunch. And in Brazil, we have lunch at uh, 11, 12, and I find it very different here in Europe, the places I've been. It's not really at 11, 12, it's later, or it's just a snack, or they, uh, they walk, they eat while they walk. So for me, the most important is still lunch. I, if I don't have breakfast, I'm okay, but if I go into the kitchen and the afternoon goes on and I know I didn't have lunch, then I, I start to feel like, like I'm at home and, <laughs> and my mom will be calling me to say, did you eat? <laughs>
for a few consecutive years, so a few years ago. And it has Grant Ashat, I don't know how to pronounce his name, <laughs> uh, as a chef. Um, they have a few restaurants, it's a group. So they have Alinea, Next, Aviary and uh, Roaster. And uh, they, they provide different uh, different uh, different teams in each restaurant. So, for example, Alinea, it's a fine dining, it's a three Michelin star, it's a set dinner menu that the chefs either change or not uh, often. Uh, next, they change the whole team of the restaurant every six months. And then there's the bar and the more more casual uh, restaurant that they have. So that's, and they are in Chicago, that's what I know for now. Because I worked in under and I knew I had the qualification of a Michelin star to apply for Alinea. And then I just, I had an interview with the HR and then the chef and he just asked me where did I work and where I work now. And uh, yeah, I guess I just, I, I was a bit nervous, but I still managed to be myself. Yes. For sure, because uh, my education brought me places that uh, is very good for also my education. <laughs> so my education brought me places that uh, they can count and they can see that, oh, that's a, that's a very good place. I'm going to be there for a year and uh, I don't know <laughs> what happens when I return. I don't know uh, if I am going to come back to Bulgaria or stay in Brazil. I usually, for the past four years, I've been just jumping from country to country every six months. So that's going to be new for me. That's the end of my education. Oh, that's very hard because uh, the three chefs, uh, Chef Henry, Chef Victor and Chef Lubin, they are absolutely amazing. They always uh, been there for me and helped me whenever I need it. So it's like, I don't know if I can choose. <laughs> yes, for sure it's worth coming here. I wouldn't change anything what I've been through. Even uh, if uh, I had to go through a lot of uh, bureaucracy with the documents to come here and to go to other places and to come back and come back again because uh, it was totally worth it. I feel like I'm only growing in life with my education and the friends I made for here. I know I, the friends I made here, I know they are for life, so uh, I wouldn't change anything. No, I was thinking, am I talking too much? <laughs>